I'm reading today from the book of Proverbs chapter 28, Genesis chapter 28, and Matthew chapter 28. Proverbs chapter 28. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. For the transgression of a land, many are the princes thereof. But by a man of understanding and knowledge, the state thereof shall be prolonged. A poor man that oppresseth the poor is like a sweeping rain which leaveth no food. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Whoso keepeth the law is a wise son, but he that is a companion of riotous men shameth his father. He that by usury and unjust gain increaseth his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Whoso causeth the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit, but the upright shall have good things in possession. The rich man is wise in his own conceit, but the poor that hath understanding searcheth him out. When righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory. But when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. Whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Happy is the man that feareth alway. He that hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief. As a roaring lion and a ranging bear, so is a wicked ruler over the poor people. The prince that wanteth understanding is also a great oppressor, but he that hateth covetousness shall prolong his days. A man that doeth violence to the blood of any person shall flee to the pit, let no man stay him. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his way shall fall at once. He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread, and he that followeth after vain persons shall have poverty enough. A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. To have respect of persons is not good, for for a piece of bread that man will transgress. He that hasteth to be rich hath an evil eye, and considereth not that poverty shall come upon him. He that rebuketh a man afterwards shall find more favor than he that flattereth with the tongue. Whoso robbeth his father or his mother and saith, it is no transgression, the same is the companion of a destroyer. He that is of proud heart stirreth up strife, he that putteth his trust in the Lord shall be made fat. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. When the wicked rise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. Genesis chapter 28. And Isaac called Jacob, and blessed him, and charged him, and said unto him, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. Arise, go to Paden Aram, to the house of Bethuel thy mother's father, and take thee a wife from thence of the daughters of Laban thy mother's brother. And God Almighty bless thee, and make thee fruitful, and multiply thee, that thou mayest be a multitude of people, and give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee, and to thy seed with thee, 
that thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger, which God gave unto Abraham. And Isaac sent away Jacob, and he went to Padan Aram unto Laban, son of Bethuel the Syrian, the brother of Rebekah, Jacob's and Esau's mother. When Esau saw that Isaac had blessed Jacob and sent him away to Paden Aram to take him a wife from thence, and that as he blessed him, he gave him a charge, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan, and that Jacob obeyed his father and his mother and was gone to Paden Aram. And Esau, seeing that the daughters of Canaan pleased not Isaac his father, then went Esau unto Ishmael, and took unto the wives which he had, Mahalath the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Nebajath, to be his wife. And Jacob went out from Beersheba, and went toward Haran. He lighted upon a certain place, and tarried there all night, because the sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, behold, a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven. Behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, the land wherein, the land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it thee and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. Thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. And he was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place. This is none other but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. And Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put for his pillows and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel, but the name of that city was called Luz at the first. And Jacob vowed a vow saying, if God will be with me, and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then shall the Lord be my God. And this stone, which I have set for a pillar, shall be God's house, and of all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the tenth unto thee. Matthew chapter 28. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall you see him. Lo, I have told you. They departed quickly from the sepulcher with fear and great joy, and did run to bring his disciples' word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, 
all hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshiped him. Then said Jesus unto them, be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee and there shall they see me. Now when they were going, behold, some of the watch came into the city and showed unto the chief priests all the things that were done. When they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel, they gave large money unto the soldiers, saying, Say ye, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept. And if this come to the governor's ears, we will persuade him and secure you. So they took the money and did as they were taught. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, and to a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen.